Well, we don't know what caused them, Jason. It has been very dry in Maine. We could use some rain. We sure could, Amanda. If this was January, no one's rolling the red carpet out for a nor'easter that's going to bring rain. <laughs> but it's August, and we're at a severe drought. So, Mother Nature, let's get the nor'easter in here right by the middle of the week. Uh, for right now, it's 67. It's quiet. It's clearly not raining, and it is dry. It's all quiet for now. And then this August nor'easter has been trending east a bit. So, it's rain for some not for others as we get into the forecast. But first things first, get you started on your Monday back to work and temps along the coast 70s to near 80 mixture of fair weather clouds a lot like today. It's not going to be uh, raining uh, really uh, tomorrow. It's even drier than it was today. Uh, down east did get in on some rain. Also uh, northeastern Maine got some rain. All eyes, though, are going to go right to Wednesday at 7 o'clock in the morning. This is the storm, and technically it's a nor'easter. You have the northeast wind, and by 7 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, the rain is moving into down east. Now, look at the storm. Look at the center of the storm. It's well off the coast, so that means Portland only a few showers, but down east, which obviously sticks out a bit, is going to get that heavy rain also up north too. This is Wednesday afternoon. Now the center of the storm tries to move just a little bit west and every kind of 50 miles or so west will help. But notice the southern coast drying out down east getting that rain. Take you to seven o'clock in the evening on Wednesday. Here's the storm it jogged east again. Well, takes that rain with it, but wants to come back west. So this kind of jog back and forth is going to tell the tale of who gets the rain and who doesn't. And right now the precip outlook is not great for the southern coast. Notice not seeing a lot there of colors. However, down east, that is the jackpot with this nor'easter in August. It just it could not be worse for the southern coast to miss out on the real beneficial rain because look at the drought monitor. It is the exact spot that misses out. Now the mid coast could get some beneficial rain, but the southern coast misses out. Down east still does need the rain. We'll take every bit of it into your Sunday night, but really the hour by hour forecast as I zoom in now into your Monday and Tuesday, notice nothing really popping up until about Wednesday where that rain starts to push in here and there is the jackpot. Now people have been telling me on Facebook Bangor needs rain sure does. So let's bring it on there. At least it's beneficial for someone. Water temp for the Mariners 65 sees around two feet tomorrow. Pretty quiet there and the seven day forecast at the coast Monday. It's sun and clouds Tuesday increasing clouds. Here come those showers. Now it's especially southern coast down east really gets in on it. So it's kind of a tale of two coasts there. Then we dry out and look more humid for the weekend. Inland mid 80s and then periods of rain into Wednesday. Thursday scattered showers Friday more humid, hot and humid Saturday and Sunday still hot. So on my Facebook page and I blame no one for this, but people Amanda are doing rain dances to try and bring the rain. <laughs> I cannot blame one person for that. Me and you, we should probably do some rain dances too. I yeah, I think we could join in. I just mm -hmm. I sh camera for me because I can't dance to save my life. <laughs> so I was just going to say off camera. We'll do it exactly. Yeah, I'm with you. Thank you, Jason.